Hello friends, in this video we are going to learn about different types of database users and different role of DBA that is database administrator. So let us start with the first topic types of database user. First type is nav user. It is also known as end user. Now the question comes in our mind who comes under this category that is nav user. Now in this category the person who is unsophisticated user who have zero knowledge about database system but can simply operate computer comes under this category. We can also say that these are the users who use the existing application to interact with the database system. So end user will interact with the database via sophisticated software or some tools. Let us take an example. We all are using WhatsApp, but we don't know anything about WhatsApp database. Means we don't know where the WhatsApp database is stored, what is the size of WhatsApp database, how many tables WhatsApp database has, etc. Still, we all are using WhatsApp database. By means of GUI, that is graphical user interface, in the form of application provided by the WhatsApp. So we all are nothing but nav user or end user for WhatsApp. If we consider the example of nav user, then they are the clerks in bank. Next type is application programmer. In this category, programmer or we can say developers who write the softwares using some tools such as Java, .NET or PHP comes under this category. We can also say that they are the developers who interact with the database by means of DML queries that is data manipulation language queries. If we consider the example of application programmer, then they are the software developers. Then the third type is sophisticated user. Now the user who can interact with the database system without using application programs. So again here the question comes in our mind how this user can interact with the database in the absence of application program. So these user can interact with the database system by using query tools such as SQL that is structured query language. So sophisticated user are the users who can interact with the database system without using application program but by using query tools such as SQL that is structured query language. If we consider the example of sophisticated user, then they are the data analyst or we can say scientist. And the last type is specialized user. This user writes specialized database application program to interact with the database system. This user will use administration tools instead of query tools. If we consider the example of specialized user, then they are the DBA that is database administrator. So these are the four different categories of database user means each and every user of database comes under any one of these category. Now let's move further second section or second topic that is role of DBM. It is also known as duty function or task of DBM. So let us start with the different role of DBA. First role is schema definition. So again here question comes in our mind what actually schema is. I have already defined schema in my previous video that schema is nothing but overall logical structure of your database. So first task is schema definition. So here DBA that is database administrator will define the logical schema of database and according to this schema your database will be defined. Means your DBA will decide how many tables your database will require, what is the name of each table, what are the different fields of each table, what is the relationship between various tables etc. And depending on this schema, this logical schema, the overall database will be defined. Second role is storage structure and access method definition. DBA will decide how the data is to be represented in the database means in which form we need to represent our data in the database and how to access our database means what are the different methods required to access our database and based on these 
स्टोरेज स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ डेटा बेस एंड एक्सेस मेथड ऑफ डेटा इज डिफाइंड नेक्स्ट थर्ड वन इज डिफाइनिंग सिक्योरिटी एंड इंटेग्रिटी कंस्टेंट हियर डीबीए विल डिसाइड ऑन वेरियस सिक्योरिटी एंड इंटेग्रिटी कंस्टेंट फॉर एग्जांपल इफ ही वांट्स टू इंप्लीमेंट दैट आवर डेटाबेस शुड नॉट बी एक्सेस बाय पर्सन अदर देन आवर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन देन दिस टाइप ऑफ सिक्योरिटी विल बी इंप्लीमेंटेड बाय डीबीए देन आफ्टर इंटेग्रिटी कंस्टेंट मींस वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन दैट द मोबाइल नंबर ऑफ अ पर्टिकुलर पर्सन शुड कंटेन 10 डिजिट्स until the person will not enter 10 digit he or she should not proceed further then this type of integrity constant can be implemented by the dba next fourth one is granting of authorization for the data access dba will determine which user need access to which part of database and depending on their requirement dba will give the permission to that part to that user so that that user can access only that part of database so which user require which part of database and depending on their requirement dba will give the rights to that user next one is license with user means whatever the necessary data the user will require that is always provided by the dba next one is assisting application programmer here dba will provide assistant that is nothing but a help to the application programmer to develop the application program because the complete or the entire database is created by the dba so dba will knows what are the different tables what is the relationship between various tables what data is stored in which table that's why this dba will provide or will give the assistant to the application provider during the pro application program development next one is monitoring performance dba will continuously monitor the performance of our system and ensure that better performance is maintained and for that if it is required to change in the physical or logical schema then it is to be carried out by the dba and last one is backup and recovery dba will regularly take backup of our database on sub storage device such as dvd cd magnetic tape or some remote server and will recover the system in case of failure if it is required so these are the various role of dba thank you very much.